Welcome everybody once again to another session of Dungeons and Dragons. Um, Howard, would you like to give us a recap of what happened in our last session? Uh, so as we were about to leave the Temple of Bahamut, uh, Sora told us about a vision she had received that the giants and the dragons were going to go to war and Adar's family was going to play a major role in that and cause issues for everyone, and so we have to stop them. Uh, she also gave us a selection of magical items to help us on our journey. Uh, so we set off with that to first find a magical artifact that's supposed to help Adar uh, fight his own family. Uh, on our way out, we did encounter a massive purple worm, which attempted to eat all of us. <laughs> it almost succeeded. <laughs> yeah, I can barely hear myself, too, Zach. Uh, Who man. actually got swallowed? I think it was just, wasn't just Howard and, uh, was it just you? No, it was Howard, Marin, and I think Nareth got swallowed as There well. was only one person who didn't at least see the inside of his, of the purple yeah. worm's insides. I got swallowed first. It was funny. Yeah. <laughs> On his first attack. <laughs> After I had just shouted a warning to everyone. Uh, but yeah, so we did manage to eventually defeat it and recovered some valuable gems from inside of it, along with the chest containing a few magical items. Um, we then set off on the airship and we're messing around with the magical items, <laughs> uh, especially a wondrous wah rod we were given that when clicked, extends a little bit and then doesn't move no matter what is done to it. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> Marin almost we, destroyed the ship with it. <laughs> <laughs> we decided to try and find a boulder to test how much it could actually withstand and but after we had landed, a large boulder crashed into our ship and destroyed it. And that is where we left off. All right. So, everybody, this is moments after this boulder has just crashed and blown this massive hole through the airship. Um, the heating furnace has been broken off the deck lays in pieces as the balloon begins to slowly deflate there are you see two hill giants who begin lumbering up to you clubs drawn rocks in hand what do you do <laughs> it's just polite well, to ask Hadar is just gonna like un unsheathe his bow and just curse and draconic What's that sound like? Be, what does one I have no idea. Sound like, draconic cursing sounds like. <laughs> Just a bunch Howard's, of doors. I love it! <laughs> Howard's going to yell out towards the giants. Common. I hope you have a new ship for us. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. No, probably not. <laughs> the giants... Uh, Nareth, is there anything you'd like to share with the giants? <laughs> or say to them or anything like that? Um, no, not really. Okay. So in response to Howard's plea for, for um, a new ship, another stone is hurled in your general direction. Everybody go ahead and roll initiative. Come on, don't fail me now. I've got dice now. You've got dice? Oh. When did you get dice? Uh, last week sometime. That's awesome. I forgot to close all these things. Means we're no longer going to see a bunch of die rolls in our chat box. Yay. I'll probably make all the complex rolls. Not that we really use that for anything anyway. It's true. What? What? No. You don't get to go three times. <laughs> or do I? 
Are they not on the right layer? Probably. They are not on the right layer. There we go. Oh, by the way, guys, I made a dice box. So we're gonna test it out tonight, see if it's any good. Or if it hates you, really. And it hates you. That was interesting. I bought four sets of dice. It's quite a bit of dice. Yeah. It's like 10 bucks for all four in a little bundle. Oh, nice. Okay, top of the round. Hadar, the stone that was thrown just kind of poof, hits the ground and rolls. It was almost like more of a warning shot than an actual intent to harm. Uh, what, would, what do you do? And Marin passes out here. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, Marin's taking a vacation there. in his mind right now. Not yet. How many of these guys went to Ashby? A couple of them. Yeah. So is it my turn, Darian? Yep. Indeed, indeed it is. Okay. Well, Going to cry out. In the name of Bahamut, I strike you down. I'm going to shoot a silver arrow right at this one's face. Okay. Make your attack. I got uh, a 16 to hit. That hits. Oh, no, 17, sorry. 17. Still hits. <laughs> right, nope, doesn't hit anymore. <laughs> I just want to let you know, guys, I just wanted you to make sure that you knew that's how, that's how much damage I'm doing. See, see, uh, giants are backwards. You, the lower you roll, the more often you hit them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do great. Oh, dang it. I did do eight damage. All right. So your arrow streaks off and slams, it just embeds itself into the arm of the giant. It doesn't really seem to notice um, what happened. Just kind of continues on its, on its way. Wow, everybody rolled terribly. Yep, we have to come out so much. Oh, thanks, man. Well, you're still watching, dude. You know what? Alright, so they reach down and pick up. One of them picks up a rock from the ground. Oh, darn it. Um, 28 to hit Howard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is 36 damage. Oh! As this rock is kind of arcs over and just <laughs> squishes you. The uh, hill giant south of Howard flings a rock at Nerif. That's uh, 18 to hit. I don't have my book. Oh, it's over there. I'll grab it in a minute. It's just barely. All right.
That is 19 damage. Oh, um, so I added eight instead of fives. Add, you get you have three more health than I told you, Howard. Okay. Sorry about I have that. eight health. Yay! Okay, Howard, it's your turn. <laughs> you just got bludgeoned by a rock. <laughs> oh, that one came out of nowhere. Uh, so, is this the train that we have, or mm -hmm. is it different? Okay. It's this train. Um, what? Howard goes invisible as he casts greater invisibility on himself. Is this the one that lets you do stuff while you're invisible? Yes. This is the fun one. Yes. So I'm now a ninja. Um, and then I am going to get 25 feet. I'm gonna move over there. Are you like ducking behind the rock? Yeah, ducking behind the rock. I believe you have to make a stealth check, correct? Uh, I am not hiding. I oh, am you're just not, invisible. You're not hiding, you're just. Uh, that, okay. That's what hiding is an action. Oh, it is. That's correct. Okay. Is that all for your turn? That is all for my turn. Nerf. I need to, I'm going to try and remember how many turns have passed. Because it'll last for a minute. Okay. I'm going to move up and I'll use my round to ready in action. What is What action are you ready? Uh, it will be an attack if they come in range. Okay. And that'll be my turn. Top of the round, Hadar. Oh. Hadar's feeling a bit worried. Just a little bit. No. So. Let's see. Hadar is going to do a guiding bolt. <laughs> ah, Budger, I only got a 10. 10 to hit? Yeah. That hits? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's right. What do you mean that's right? <laughs> I mean, like, I thought that was a pretty lousy, uh, but they're giants, so they're big. It's kind of hard to miss. <laughs> yeah. They're not exactly wearing armor either. Yes, they're kind of yeah. not wearing much of anything, except maybe a loincloth if you're lucky. Trust me, not everybody needs to I see that waving around in the breeze. Mm, definitely not. I do 19 radiant damage, and everyone has advantage to hit, hit to hit them for them until the next until it's my turn again. So I raise up my bow, and as I pull back on my bowstring without an arrow, it like a white arrow materializes, and I shoot it. it goes just like zooms at the giant. Um, you said 19 damage, right? Yeah. The giant's kind of like st slow. stunned a little bit, like, well, what the crap was that? Shiny light, shiny bright lights. Hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to, before the end of my turn, I'm, I'll move a little bit. Okay. See, how, how far can I move? 30 feet, I believe. Okay. Well, I'm going to move right here. <laughs> All right. These, uh,. Giants, or this giant in the north, having seen you toss, or having been shot by a shiny arrow that doesn't understand, 
Throws a rock at the source of the shiny arrow. I really need to stop doing this. Okay, fine. We said let the dice fall where they do, right? Was it a 20? Yeah, that's the second one. That is 49 damage as this rock just <laughs> smacks into you. Smacks into who? You, Adar. Adar. <laughs> so I have a quick question. Can he see me? Like, how tall is this rock? It's only right a couple here? feet tall. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, it probably gave you cover, but he got a natural 20, so he's still hit. Yeah, it, I, yeah, it so probably gives much? you half cover, but not full cover. You got have to it. How much you, damage? What did I say? 49. 49? Mm -hmm. Damn. Uh, 49. I have nine health left. Woo! I am not dead yet. I'm, just I'm not dead yet. <laughs> this is this is not going the way I thought it would. I think you wanted to throw three at us. I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I listened to the reason of the people that I'm throwing things at. The second hill giant also picks up a rock and lobs it uh, in Nerif's general vicinity, but it impacts on the boulders in front of you and breaks apart, kind of scattering around you. You're able to block some with your shield and kind of avoid getting hit by any large pieces, or incredibly large pieces. Hey. Howard. Um, it's a good thing these things... Well, there certainly aren't a lot of rocks for them to throw around here. Unfortunately. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Five, 15, 20, 25. So I'm going to move over here and attempt to hide. All right, what's your stealth? Uh, what's Do your I have stealth advantage check? on this since I'm invincible? Since I'm invisible? I think so. I think that's yeah, how it works. Yeah, I think you do. I don't know if it's going to matter. Uh, it does. What? It very much does matter because my first one was a 1, and my second one is a 19. So that brings me to 21. Yeah, yeah, they, they, don't, they don't notice anything. Yeah. They they lost you went back when you were twenty when you were thirty feet back the other way. They don't even know you exist anymore. They've completely forgotten about you. Okay. Uh that is my turn. Alright, Nerf. Hmm. Gonna step forward again. Take cover behind this rock. Okay, that gives you and half that cover, be... which I believe is a plus two to your AC. Okay. And yeah, that'll be my turn. Okay. Um, as you guys are watching, or, well, hiding behind the rocks, kind of with your back up against them, hoping against all hope that you will not get hit. Um, Howard, you sense kind of a, a warping of, of the air as a figure begins to kind of just materialize slowly out of apparent nothingness and kind of out over I there. I sense a disturbance of force. <laughs> you do. You do. You very much do. Ah. Alright, um... Josh, roll the initiative. Just to see where you fit into this. Roll initiative. And that's a d20 plus dex, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. 16.
Okay. Hadar, it is your turn. Oh boy. Well, as Hadar lays, Kata is kind of like leaning on his Ow. bow, on his long bow. Ow. Kind of struggling for, struggling for breath for a second. Um, I think Hadar is going to, how, how tall are these rocks again? They're about two feet tall. So, two feet tall? Yeah, something like this. They come up to like your, uh, your knees, pretty much. I'm going to like move over and kind of crouch down so I can get better cover. You on the rocks? Yeah. No. Like right next to them. So like, here. Why would I go there? Well, I don't know. Where are you trying to hide? Like this is the top of the top of the rock is flat. Oh, I know. I'm just like cut, like behind the rock. I'm trying to crouch down so I have more cover from the giants. I know you're just on top of the rock right now. This is why I'm confused. Wait, what? Your character is moving on top of the rock. Yeah, he's right. He's on top of the rock. Just I'm leave him where he was. World, eh? I'm, on I'm top just confused world. as to where you're moving. What? I'm not on top of a rock though. I'm right next to it. Like my character is positioned right next to this kind of rock right here. That's C correct, right? Hold, hold and click where you think he is. Hadar is right here. Yeah, he's on top of the rock. <laughs> How is he on top of the rock? See, look, there's the rock. I'm still confused. I don't see any rock in that in that little space. This gray thing, that's a rock. What gray thing? What map are you looking at, son? <laughs> no, I get this is the rock, like right here. This is the rock. Here, my I'll character. Help. Yeah, that. Okay. Thank you. That's that's the rock. The entire thing's rock. Wait, where did that come from? The purple thing? We just drew it. Yeah. But that's the rock. <laughs> Are you just, kidding me? No, this is why I'm asking you why you're on top of it. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's rolling for intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to move okay. off the freaking rock. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next time, make sure that I can oh, see it. Oh, you killed him. I can't see. <laughs> you killed him. I deleted Hadar from the world. <laughs> right, so he you're replaced, a terrible he person. replaced me. <laughs> there, fixed. Can you put the drawing of the rock back? Did you like the drawing of the rock? Yeah, I kind of like to know where things are on the map. Anyway, so I'm going to just hide behind the rock and I'm going to just cast Cure Wounds on myself. Okay, are you are you like trying to like lay down? The rock is... If you want to get like full cover from the rock, then you need to lay prone. Okay, fine. I'm doing that. Okay. Just kind of like get down on your on your knees and get down on your stomach like army crawl, and then yeah, yeah, begin to cast your cast your spell. Uh, I had it saved. Come on. Don't be like that. Sorry, where I had saved Cure Wounds is no longer there. Where the heck did it go? Mm. It's 1d8 plus your spellcasting ability modifier. It's 1d8 plus my spellcasting? Okay. If you're only casting at first level. It's an extra d8 for every spot above first. Oh, it's an extra D8, then I will cast it at a second level. Okay. Okay.
paint. So 13, I, I, I heal 13 damage to myself. And that will be the end of my turn. Okay. Um, Josh, can you hear us? Yeah. Okay. Can you not see me here? Um, I'm just gonna be like, uh, what's going on? I'm just gonna yell over to, uh, uh, will have the, will have the giant seen me? You don't know. Okay. Well, I'm just getting low to a nair if I guess this guy over here. I'm saying, oh, what's going on? I'll just wave at him in the motion to stay low. Are we trying to kill those things? I'm, I'm going to kind of duck down, I guess. Yes, I'll drag my finger across my throat and point to him. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I'm gonna what? take my, I'm gonna take my javelin and just chuck it at uh this guy right here. Okay, make an attack roll. That's uh, beyond the range of the javelin. Oh, is it? Well, it's on the disadvantage range, I think. One it's of my on... dice just flew off like an arrow, so I can't find it. With disadvantage <laughs> range? How, how much is disadvantage range? I don't, have it, I don't have one in front of me. I really need to grab my book. So a javelin is uh, like 3120. I remember that. So it's what? Uh, if it's more than 30 feet away, then you have disadvantage. And it can only go up to, it can't hit anything farther away than 120 feet. So roll twice then? Okay. Yep. Oh, well, I rolled 17s both times, so. That hits. Okay. Awesome. That's going to be nine damage. Oh, your javelin arcs through the air and just kind of like scrapes the leg of one of the giants. He doesn't seem to mind much. Okay. I'm going to uh, then do my as my bonus action. I'm going to do an extra attack. I'm going to chuck another javelin at it. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to roll that again. That wasn't right. That was bad. Ah, I need a box. Okay. Wait, what? It, um, it. I couldn't see it in time, but I rolled. I couldn't see it in time, but I'm pretty sure it was below AC, so I just rolled again. But I got a uh, a s six. Yeah, that yeah. second javelin flies off the edge and uh, flies across and over the head of the giant. Um, the other people watching are surprised that you could miss like that. <laughs> well, you know what? Screw them. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to move my move my guy. So I have 40 feet of movement. Uh, is there more maps than this, or just? Uh, try to stay inside this map, please. Okay. Technically, yes, but if you try to move outside the bounds, then you'll just lose your token. Okay. You'll fall off the edge of the world. Yep. <laughs> you'll, I'm, you'll gonna right, I'm gonna move right here for some cover. That only affords you about half cover, just so you know. We'll be right here. Same thing. Fair enough, I'll take it. That's gonna my turn. Okay. This hill giant has become aware of this newcomer and flings a rock at him. Twenty to hit. 
Your AC has plus two because you have half cover. Okay, the lot still hits it. Frick, 20, really? Yep. What the heck were you thinking, Darian, with this encounter? <laughs> like, one of them hasn't hit anybody yet. So he hasn't done anything. <laughs> he's he's throwing rocks. He's just he, yeah. this, the the one in the south yeah. is Amalia's tail tail terrible, terrible aim. I'm surprised he hasn't moved forward to try and swing at people instead. Don't give it's me ideas. That's uh, twenty five points of damage. Really? No, I'm lying to you. Please say you're lying. I'm not lying. <laughs> <laughs> the second hill giant also tries to throw a rock at the newcomer. Wow, screw you. And misses terribly. Howard. What's You're invisible. You are sneaky. What do you do? Okay. Um... Okay, so I move right up next to this giant and cast a lightning bolt from the shadows. Saw this coming. Just out of nowhere. That <laughs> there's not even there's not even shadows. It is broad freaking daylight, and this <laughs> arc of blue energy just shoots across this roadway here. Dexterity saving throw for both of them. Oh yeah, that's gonna that's gonna go well. Eight and eleven. I don't think either of them made their save. DC was sixteen, so. Uh, I need more D6. That's never a good thing. Okay, that is a good thing. It's good for us. Uh, it's going to be 25 points of uh, lightning damage to both of them. And while the one that is nearest to you seems to um, have taken this bolt of arcane energy rather well, the one on the north is starting to, to breathe a little heavier. And we've said I can't use more than one level yeah. spell per round, right? That's correct. That is all I shall do. As much as I know you want to just yes. burn all your spell I slots. I want to misty step away so badly. <laughs> You're still invisible, right? Yes, I'm still invisible. OK. Um, I'm no longer hidden since I attacked them. Too bad you're not a rogue, right? Nerf. Yeah. How tall is the rock I'm behind? Uh, two, three feet. About this, about the, the, the rocks are all relatively equal heights. I'll look back at Hadar and hey, Shadow. That's a good idea. And I will lay down. <laughs> the rock. OK, is that all you do for your turn? Do I have to re-ready in action? Um, if you're going to ready in action, yes. And just so you know, you have disadvantage on attack rolls while you're prone. That's fine. I'll ready an attack roll. They come near. Okay. That'll be my turn. Okay, Hadar. Um. I am going to. Let's see. By the way, that vial of poison I got from the last encounter, did we ever talk about what the damage was on that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we ever talked about it. Nope. Do you have it or does Nerif have it? 
I have it. Okay, it's uh, the poison does 12d6 poison damage. When it's administered in a proper dose. 12d6? Yes. Holy crap. Lots of d6s. Many d6s. So coating it, so coating it on an arrow and then shooting it at a, at a giant, that would not constitute like... You would have to spend some time preparing this arrow to get it to work properly. Okay, I'd say it. you could make it, but it's not you can't it's not like you just don't just dip it and then fire it. That wouldn't work. Why not? At least it wouldn't be as effective. <laughs> it would do some poison damage, but it wouldn't do the full strength of the poison. So how much would you say? How much damage would it do then? Like half of it? I'd probably say forty six. Forty six? I thought you said forty six. I'm like, wow, yeah, that's 40, really good. Forty six. Forty six D six. Okay, well luckily the well, luckily I have a big old bag of the poison sack still on me. I don't know why I have it in my inventory, but I do. Do you, just, so I'm gonna, the worm. you just have the bag like the remaining bag of the <laughs> <laughs> Well it's because like I, I yanked it out and you and you said like through through like I was able to pour some into a vial. For five, so you said that there'd be enough poison for five arrows, and I just took the poison sack. But you told me it wouldn't, it wouldn't last very long in the poison sack. But it's been like a day, but I assume it's still good. Hasn't it been more like three or four days, five days? It's no? been three days. No. Yep, it's been three it's days. Three days. Three days in the okay. issue. Anyway, so the the poison in the sack has started to eat away at the sack. I do. Wait, do you pull it out, or do you not? Have you not? looked at it i pulled it out okay so you you notice that the membrane holding this this poison is much thinner than it was the first time you put it in and the uh the poison itself has kind of started to change color a little bit okay so how much would poison damage would this do uh make a nature check for me oh i am oh dang i actually have a terrible nature check you're a You're ranger. A ranger. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was the one thing I didn't pick, okay? <laughs> you, get it, you get it naturally. No, do, no I don't. No, you still, oh. choose your, you still choose your skills. Yeah, it was. I think it was either between nature or, like, survival, and I choose survival. But, okay, I'll, double, I'll just see. Let's see if I can get a good roll on this. I got a four. Total? Yes. Okay. Um, from its smell, you know that it's working still, but you don't know how effective it's going to be. Oh, well. Uh, um, I'm going to just go ahead and dip one of my silver arrows. One of your silver arrows into this acid? Yeah. The last time what? I put silver in acid, it didn't go well for the silver. It wasn't acid. You told me it was poison, not acid. I guess it is poison. They're pretty close. Okay, go ahead. Plus, go ahead. I wouldn't be carrying this giant membrane full of like. So how do you do acid. this? How do you do this? Because this membrane is like mostly enclosed. There's like one hole in it that you poked, right? Yeah. The dagger. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna put like my my arrow in there carefully. <laughs> carefully slide it in. Then slide it back out, and then I'm going to. Can I do a cold shot on the on the giant's head? Cold shots give you disadvantage, but yes. Okay. Okay. Let's. I use, I use bardic inspiration. You're not a bard. <laughs> <laughs> Screw that noise. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so my lower of the two, I got 17. That hits. Ooh. Ooh, nice. So how much more damage do I do? So roll your regular damage and then add 3d6 poison damage. Oh, yeah. oh so which one are you aiming at? I imagine oh, the one on top. Sorry. Yeah, the one that nearly killed me. He's going to die. <laughs> Um, but uh, really quick though, how much more damage do I? So you're not telling me the extra damage? I just did. For the head, three d six. Yeah, but that was for the. Po you told me that's poison damage. Was three d six? Yeah, so it's three d six additional poison damage. So you're oh. gonna do your normal arrow damage, and then add three d six poison damage. Okay. You've got to be kidding me! I hate. Hate you so much, it burns within me. 
Um, <laughs> this does not sound good. And, and I do 19 damage. Is poison a condition? Yes. Yes. Oh. Jeffrey, make a constitution, constitution saving throw to see if he resisted. Well, he critically failed that, so... Let's see. Okay, I've got an idea. Alright, so as you pull back your bow, you take aim. Aim right between his eyes and you fire this arrow. As it streaks across the battlefield, it, Im it embeds itself directly in between what you think are its eyebrows uh, and kind of like sticks in its bone a little bit. Um, the giant like roars in pain, just and grabs there and rips it out. And it just blood starts to like just trickle down its face. Okay. Sweet. Is it dead? No, it is not dead, but it's looking Dang pretty it. bad. It's got cuts all over it, and it's like face is now bleeding. It's not feeling very good about its life. Okay, well that's the end of my turn. Okay. Okay, well, sir, nameless. I'm, I'm going to enter into a rage. Um. And I'm going to pick on my great sword and start charging this thing. Yeah, I can make that easy. So I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna draw on my great sword. I'm just gonna take a swing at it. It's also gonna be a reckless. Hit. So that gives me advantage. Um, am I flanking at all? No. No, not even close. <laughs> well, <I've> been... <laughs> There's nobody the around here. <laughs> the thing's mostly stomach, so like. Ooh, natural was... twenty. Oh, natural 20. that's freaking sweet. Natural twenty. So. So every plus... all attacks against you for the rest of the round have advantage against you, right? Yes, sir. Okay. It's a reckless, because it's a reckless attack. Um. Okay. Oh yes, that's that's fine. So that's a D two D six. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to figure this out. It's twenty one damage. Okay. Is that all for your turn? Uh, it's not dead? Nope. Seriously? Yep. You're kidding me. Nope. You said it was looking... <laughs> okay, new rule. If it's not less than like 10... So it's looking pretty pretty up. Cool, I didn't hear any of that, so I'm gonna say no, that's not a new rule. <laughs> that's the biggest bogus thing ever. I have okay. mark I actually have markers when you reach certain milestones on people's health, I tell you when they're looking beat up and whatnot, so but you have to figure that out. How's it looking now? Haggard. Wow. You're the worst Darian. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, since I'm in a rage, though, I get half damage to all attacks, so... Right, you take half damage if you get that's my, hit. That's my, that's my turn. Okay. So this hill giant, after receiving the sharp edge of a great sword... You didn't even, you didn't even describe my attack, you... He, he, clutches, <laughs> he, he clutches at his chest as he falls to his knees, and then falls over. The poison from the arrow... Doing its job. Go poison! Killing the giant. Hey, thank you. I'm going to hide behind the giant's body. This other giant, <laughs> seeing its companion fall. Oh, you are so screwed. <laughs> comes over here. Do I get an opportunity attack on this thing? Uh, do you have a weapon out? Uh, 
Yes. If you don't have a weapon, <laughs> if you don't have a weapon out, you can try to like just do an unarmed attack. But yes, you get an attack of opportunity. Please, please do an unarmed attack. <laughs> you know sure. I do have a dagger, which I sometimes use, but we'll say I have just had my okay. walk out, so do a, it'll just, be an armed attack. Do an unarmed attack. <laughs> so roll the attack. Kick him in the knee. Uh, so that would be plus strength. So yes. that is a 16. That okay. hits. That hits. So it does one damage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this invisible little, like, like just, it just felt like a little tap. Just this little invisible tap. Just. It, it'll cause some bruising, but. <laughs> But as this giant lumbers over, he jumps in the air. And that is a... Oh, he has advantage against you, huh? Yeah. Wait, who has advantage against me? Giant. That is a... Oh, yeah. The giant. The giant. He jumps into the air. It's a 22 to hit. Wait, why does he have advantage on me? Because you oh, yeah, this attacked. Sorry, yeah. Uh, that is a hit, yeah. Okay. So you take... Two, four, six. So much damage. You take 26 points of bludgeoning damage. Is that half? You half, yes. yes, because of your reckless attack. And you are grappled. Wait, so and knocked you, prone. Have, you, you, you already halved it? No, it's that's before halving. Okay, so that's thirteen. Yes. Okay. So and so you're also knocked prone and grappled. Knocked prone and grappled. Okay. There's no an extra check for that. Uh, nope. Hmm. There's an escape. So if he wants to escape, that's the thing. But it jumps in the air and slams down on you. I, I don't. I don't really know if you can stop that much force. <laughs> I put my sword up. <laughs> it, ha- it all happens too fast. You just see this one giant fall over, and this other one is like just in the air. And so <laughs> when it jumps, is it like is uh, Josh's character like being sat on? Yes. Currently? Yes. Just like where exactly? <laughs> he is wedged between between its butt crack. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. <laughs> Okay. Okay, Howard. Um, seeing the giant walk away and take my rather vicious punch to its foot. <laughs> uh, I'm going to bruise its leg. Nah, I, I got its butt as it was stepping away. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to cast uh, magic missiles from where I'm at at second level. Okay. I nearly got max damage. That is 19 points of force damage. Okay, as you stretch your. I'm going to move them just so I can reach his health counter. So as you reach out your hand, uh, purple balls of arcane energy form and streak across the field, impacting multiple times into the back of this giant as he's and as he's sitting on um, this unknown creature that has popped up and begin to, begun to age you. Uh, starts to starts to make him a little dizzy. Okay. Nerf. Uh. Also, oh, sorry. Real quick, Are you gonna do something I'm else? Gonna move behind this rock. I see. Hey, Darian, I still can't see the rocks. You can't? No. I mean, it's the map layer. Like, I didn't add rocks. They're just on the map. I'm not seeing the rocks. What does the screen look like for you? Yeah. It looks different. <laughs> This worries just me. A blurred green or something? No, like it looks like an old map that you used for another encounter that we had. It is. But it's like, yeah. 
I don't like I don't see the rock in front of of Howard and I don't see the rock that right next to me. Um, well, that's weird. Oh, no. Now I see my map is shifted. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's probably a roll 20 glitch. It does that sometimes. OK, because, yeah, everything's kind of scooted over. Oh, that makes sense while you were trying to stand on the rock. <laughs> it all makes sense now. The world, the universe, everything. <laughs> Okay, Howard, are you are you uh, finished with your turn? Yeah, that's it. I just made mine work. Okay, Nerf. Okay. As this is happening, I'm going to scream out, I know you don't know me, but this is... His, oh. his, his voice is muffled by the, uh, the butt cheeks that press over his face. Wait a second, am I, like, being fully sat on? Yeah. Or is like... <laughs> you are stuck under this thing. Oh, please don't fart. Can you roll to see if the giant farts on? I was planning Stop on it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> roll for poison damage. That's, that was, that's what I was going to do. Have him make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> Nerf, what shall you do? I'm going to jump up from where I was hiding and charge at him. And I assume I'm behind him. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Orientation's a little hard. Okay, and then I'm going to make my swings. Do it. Uh, 14. That or, hits. No, 15, sorry. Still hits. Oh, crap. I'm so indoctrinated by roll 20. I don't know what dice I need. <laughs> Does take some getting used to. Yes, but once you do, once you get used to it, it's so much more fun. Thirteen. Damage. Thirteen. And I'm gonna make my other swing. Oh yeah, that's right. You have multi attack. And ah. another fifteen. All right. This with the giant slayer. Well. Oh yeah! I forgot to add that. Yeah, I forgot about I forgot about the weapon. <laughs> and I'm the one who made it. Uh, next to it. Oh, so they ha they have to make a DC of 15 strength to. Uh, to resist to being knocked prone. prone. Um, yeah. he naturally pointed that it. so. Well, you should roll for twice, right? Second attack. Yeah. You do that. Um, what's the DC? 15. 15? Yes. Okay, so you... Um, what was the extra damage roll pick? Just, just let me know that. Uh, I have to roll it. Let's see, six for one. And four for the other. All right. So as you swing your axe and it slams into the side of the giant, it cuts through it almost as if it were butter with almost no resistance. And you bring it up again, and this time it's an even mightier strike as you slam it into kind of the front more forward. The force of your blow knocks the giant onto his back. So he is prone on top of... <laughs> am, I, am I, like, no longer underneath the butt of this giant since he's like... Oh. You are... So basically what happened, you were underneath the butt of his giant. He's now, he was sitting down, now he's laying down. So, um, his butt hasn't moved much. Great. Okay, that'll be my turn. All right. Hadar. Mm-hmm. What do ye? What do I? What do ye? And, well... Um, I'm going to try another guiding bolt. All right. Okay, that is a 20 to hit. That hits. That 
And I do... Uh, 18 radiant damage. 18? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sir, no name. As you have not introduced yourself yet. Um, you need to make a strength and, or an athletics check. Do I have advantage on this because I'm raging? Mm, I don't believe so. I don't Actually, know. Does rage give you advantage on... I think yes, it does give you advantage on strength checks. Okay, then yeah, you have advantage. Um, 12. Yep, that sucked. Um, nine. That was with advantage? Uh, let me check. Oh, sorry, that's uh, with, that's, uh, 11. With advantage, yeah. You, you struggle, and you fight, and you twist and turn, but you are not able to claw your way out from underneath the weight of this creature. Okay. Um, do I have room enough to, like, you still use my sword and, like, maybe, like poke it? Nope. Like, you can't move at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I cursed whoever the uh, god is who made this thing jump on me. And, uh... Yeah, well, I can't do anything. Well, so, you, you spent your action trying to get out from under him. Yep. So, uh... Okay, continue. So you feel a rumbling vibrating from above you. Hey, I'm sorry, gas is not going to knock me out. <laughs> They're going to move along. Gas is not going to do any damage. As it, as an explosive gas fills the small space you have to breathe, go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> 21. 21. Barely, and just barely you're able to keep down whatever your last meal was as this nauseating, rank, putrid, smell just washes over your nose. You try to bury your face in the dirt to escape it. <laughs> Howard, what do you do? That's all it does, okay. Yeah, um, that was its action. <laughs> I am going to... Hold on, let me make sure I'm within range. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm going to cast Acid Splash on this thing. Okay. So I'm Gonna hurl a ball of acid at it and have to make a dexterity uh, saving throw. Yep, it failed. That uh, was a two. Okay, so it takes two d six acid damage, and that is eleven. How do you want to do it? So, my invisible form. You guys notice a just a large ball of acid form in the middle of the air, which hurled itself over into the giant's chest and eats away at its flesh and burns into it. And then it falls to the ground. Well, actually, it's already laying on the ground, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't fall. Instead, it rises in pain, letting out a deep bellowing moan and then moves no more. Good job, guys. <laughs> yeah, you're still stuck under there. I'm going to walk over to where uh, our no-named uh, assistant is, and I'm going to tr try to assist him in getting out. Okay. Um, Do I just need to make a strength check with that? Are you trying to roll the corpse off of him, or are you trying to pull him out? What are you doing? Trying to pull, trying to pull him out. So you can't see him right now. Oh, okay. Then I'll try. I'll I'll ask Nera for help, and we'll try and push him. Push, kind of roll the corpse. Okay. A little bit. <laughs> make both of you make athletics checks. Can I make one too? Since I'm trying to get out. Sure, you can make one as well. 
thing. Nine. Well, I Natural got a seven. Natural 20. Oh. So, as they're, like, trying to push this corpse over, kind of rocking it a little bit, it gives you enough, enough room to kind of start to, like, wiggle your way out, and then you pop out from underneath <laughs> the giant. The damn thing farted on me. <laughs> An arc can't, he can't prevent himself from chuckling a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to fall to my knee, gagging. Oh, you smell horribly. Uh, I'm just gonna. Can I, is I? Am I out by now? You're out, yes, but your nose has been burned and you can't smell much of anything. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around and just kick it. Just kick the dead body. Just... <laughs> Make a strength check. So, uh... Make a strength check. Make, make a strength check? Yeah. Uh, or, uh, sorry, I have an athletics check. They're technically the same thing, but. Natural 20. You kick it so hard that you bruise the end of your toe and take one point of damage. What? <laughs> uh, I was hoping that would happen. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. It's a natural 20. Yeah, you kicked it really, raging, so it's really yeah. hard. Yeah, it's half, so it's, it's no damage. Okay. By the way, I'm checking out this one giant that they're not messing with to see, make sure it doesn't have anything on it. Are you still invisible? Yes. Okay. As you uh, move around the giant, it has a large sack, as most giants do, but it just has random like pieces of farmsteads, chairs, broken fences, broken wagons, just kind of just random junk that okay. nobody can fathom the purpose as to why giants gather it, but that's that's what you find in there, as well as <laughs> um, about 30 gold pieces. Oh. Score. <laughs> um, I am going to reach out my hand to the stranger and be like, so thanks for the, thanks for the, uh, the assist. We, Good thing you distracted one of them. Um, what, what's your name, good sir? Uh, I'm gonna reach out my hand too, and I guess I'm just gonna kind of like tap it, just like kind of just slap it around, like. No, no, no! You're you're supposed to grab it like this, and I grab your hand. At at grab. that point, at that point, just out of like reflex, I try to I try to put him into. A... <laughs> <laughs> Make a strike. Uh, make a make a, an acrobatics check, Hadar. Do you, actually, Hadar, do you want to resist that? Do you I'm gonna freak. Do you know what? I'm going to like. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of resist it. I'm gonna try. Okay, so make both of you make a, a athletics check. You know, you're no longer raging, raging so yeah, you don't have. Yeah, I, I figured. Yeah. You don't have advantage. Okay. 14. I got uh, 15. Wow. So you go to pull on his arm and, and he doesn't move. He's just like pulling on a rock. I call bullocks on that description, but. <laughs> um, is there, what, what are you doing? I'm just going to look around and I'm just going to let go. I'm just going to kind of walk around and just try to like, fake, just look around. It's like basically look to the sky. I'm just gonna look to the ground. Hey, uh, weird dude. What's your name? Where where am I exactly? And as he says that, I uh, remove my invisibility and appear next, and a gnome appears next to him. <laughs> Hello. I na I naturally swing out. <laughs> oh. Make an attack roll. With this advantage. I was going to say I'm actually appearing 10 feet from him. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> right next to him. <laughs> if, that, if that's the case, I'm just going to be like, Dah! I'm just going to like back up. Yeah, I didn't want to appear behind you or anything. I just wanted to appear like a little bit away. <laughs> Hello. Uh, tiny thing. Uh, lizard thing and ugly thing, looking at Nerif. Um, 
where, 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 where am I? That's actually an excellent question. Um, uh, you're on the, well, we're on the side, we're still in the mountains, right? On the spine of the world. No. Pretty sure. No, no, we're in the hills. Um, you traveled Somewhere three. Else. You traveled uh, three days south in an airship uh, from the mountain. Which and Howard heads over to the remains of the airship to see if anyone is still alive there. So uh, no, nobody was. Mo- the crew was evacuated. Ma- the majority of the crew was evacuated um, from this ship. But as soon as the hill giants came, they kind of all like hid behind the wreckage. <laughs> How much for that? Uh, no, nobody's. Are we? Is this place near the fountains of creation? The what? I'm guessing not. Um. Howard, did you? What did you want to do with the? Did you want to talk to any of the crew members? Uh, I wanted to find either the captain or the one who is normally navigating for us and ask them about where we are. Okay, that was the captain, and um, as you approach the ship, he sees that it's safe, and he comes out and uh, begins to speak with you. That was uh, a very good job you did. (laughs) That stone nearly knocked me out from the start. Uh, Well, uh... Oh, I'm sorry. Continue. It should be safe enough for now. Uh, In any case, where are we anyway? It doesn't look like the ship's going to be taking us anywhere soon. Uh, Ah, no, there's... There's... Well, this ship can be repaired, but I'm not certain if it's worth it. It would take quite a bit of lumber and some rather skilled craftsmen to be able to uh, put this this lady back together. And he kind of rubs the... Rubs the wood of his ship in, a, in a, kind of a sad, sad manner. But as far as where we are, I, as best as we can tell, we're as in between, as... I believe, we're, well, we're near Red Larsh. Red Larsh is to the north, and I believe your, your destination lies uh, following this road to the south. Are we by the woods? You are by some woods. You can see a kind of a, a patch of forest in the distance. Okay. So our destination is not much further out then. Oh, it's a bit of a ways. It would have been another day by airship. On foot, I can only guess it would take maybe three or four days. Well, oh. suppose I should let the others know. Uh, thank you, Adam. Sorry about what happened here, Chef. It's... it's all right. It's not your fault. Although... I may have a word with that wizard. What? I'm the wizard. Oh, well, the other... the other magic one. Aren't you all wizards? Uh, they're... minor distinctions, but we'll let it go for now. Oh, okay. That's a very insensitive statement. I'm just kidding. <laughs> So, um, while Howard was speaking to the captain, I'm going to be trying to figure out where this stranger came from. So, the, the fountain of creation, are do you serve a god? Like, are you from, like, a, I don't know, where gods come from? Uh, uh, no. I, 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 there was this bright light and I was in the mountains, and now I'm here, being farted on. Um, you don't make a lot of sense, sir. What happened doesn't make a lot of sense, okay? Uh, uh, you, you act like you've never seen, like, any of the races, like, that you, like, me, Dragonborn, Half-Orc. But I'm I'm dragonborn, you know, because I'm part dragon. Have you have you ever seen a dragon? Uh, I've have seen dragons, but not dragonborn. I guess. Got it. So you've never seen a gnome or a half orc. Which one's which? The gnome's I'm the gonna... small one, and then the big 
The big guy, he's a, he's a half orc. I'm gonna speak up. No, 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 no. I'm point to Howard. That's the half orc. I'm the gnome. <laughs> <laughs> he's so, screwing with you. Wait. Uh, so, so what? Wh- who's what then? No, oh, I, I think I, obviously Nerif has it right. Like he's the half orc, and Nerif is the gnome. Sorry, I got that. I get those confused all the time. Oh, sorry. I. So what? Ne- the you're the gnome, the muscular one. And yeah, you're that's the, right. And, and the one, and the short thing coming towards us is orc. half orc. Okay, well, what's a full orc then? They're nasty creatures. They're even smaller than half works. As you guys are discussing this, Howard finally makes his way back. Uh, well, guys, it seems that uh, we're not too far from our destination. Only about another two or three days walking. Uh, uh, I'm going to interrupt him. Um, excuse me, uh, tiny half work. Uh, <laughs> half work? <laughs> yes, what are you talking about? That's, that's what these dragonborn and gnomes said you were. I shoot them a buck. <laughs> <laughs> Almost I a physical luck. I'm turned away trying to stifle a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm afraid my friends may have misinformed you a little bit. I, I My race is actually the gnome. Uh, the muscular one over there, as you said, is a half orc. Okay. Um, do, you, do you not have jokes in like your where you're from? Oh, we we have jokes. It's that that's the, just the, um, I just yeah yeah we we yeah. It is curious that you haven't seen gnomes before. At least I know half works and dragons well, aren't, aren't all that common, but gnomes usually are. Well, have you seen me before? Do you know what I am? What is he? I'm a Genasi. Um, oh, I was going to say make a history check. Oh, sorry, yeah. Sorry, right. make a history check. <laughs> Actually, Darian, can you give us a description of what, what we see? I can give you a description of what I look like. Okay, yeah, could you do that? So, what did you roll, I'm, Howard? I'm about... 23. Okay. I'm about six foot four. I got shaggy medium length hair that's kind of long enough to be in a ponytail, like a short short ponytail, but usually I'm just wearing it down right now. Um, I got skin that looks like obsidian stone. Uh, I've got magma red eyes, and I I look like a human. Okay, so I'd be here. I'm going to, like, be a little bit more weirded out by the fact that he looks like obsidian and has glowing red eyes. Yes, he looks like he was a, a human carved from obsidian rock with sharp angles and and kind of a glassy sheen. Howard, you do you do you have come across in your studies and in your in your personal research, you know of a race called the Genasi, and you know that they they're half genies. Um generally ostracized by the genie population themselves. And they generally take after an element, uh, air, fire, water, and earth. And this seems to be one from earth. Uh, actually, I, now that I take a closer look at you, uh, I have not met a Genasi before, but I have heard of them. Oh, you know what I am. That, that's, uh, that's, 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 that's good. That, that, good, good, good. Um, do you, do you not know who you were before? No, no, I, I do. My, oh, my name's Obsidian. Uh, yes, I am a Genasi from the Fountains of the Creation. Uh, but you, you all just call me Sid. It's fine. Uh, okay. Oh. Hey, well, uh, uh, do I know more about the Genasi or anything else about the Genasi? Like maybe um, they're fairly isolated or anything like that? Give me a quick second and uh, I will let you know. Okay. I have to grab a couple books. <sighs> Tell yeah, me, I'm gonna... tell me, um, gnome, gnome, gnome. That would be me. Uh, Half orc. W- w- what is your name? Uh, my name's Howard. Nice to meet you. And it's... reach your hand out. 
And so I, I, at that point, I look at uh, Hadar. So I just you, you grab you grab the hand and then you shake it like up and down a little bit. It's a form of greeting for this land. Okay, yes. I just I just gently shake. <laughs> um, you seem to know to, to know. You seem to, to know. Um, uh, how far are we from the Earth plane? Uh, oh. <laughs> Let's wait for our elusive god in the sky to answer some of these questions as to whether or not we know any of this. Um, I'm going over to the airship ruins. The elusive god in the sky. Make a prayer. No, I'm just kidding. Um, what is this information you're seeking? Are you asking about the like if you have knowledge of the planes? Yes. You 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 know they exist. So, everybody kind of knows about, they, they know of the planes. There is some misinformation that circles around. Not everybody um, has accurate information on the planes, but it is general knowledge that they exist. So, when he's talking about the Earth plane, you're not certain about what he means by the Earth plane, but um, you're smart enough to understand he's talking about the elemental planes. The elemental plane? Uh, well, um... I don't actually know of any access points near here. Uh, what, what, what do you mean access points? Well, you'd see this is not your home world, you might call it. This is actually a completely separate plane. Uh, different from where you used to live. So you're saying we're not near the Earth plane? Uh, no, we are not. Well, damn. <laughs> <laughs> While you're talking, Hadar's going to come up and kind of like, kind of knock on your obsidian skin. Is it like straight up rock? It's fleshy. Oh, it's fleshy. So I'm kind of like perplexed by the fact that it looks like rock, but it's fleshy. Is, I look over, is this another form of greeting? Uh, no, no, no. It's not. I'm just inspecting you because no one else looks like you, like, in this entire world. Huh. That does explain the lack of knowledge of half-orcs, gnomes, and dragonborn, uh, since we are native to this plane are of our own. Uh, you probably wouldn't see many of us in the Elemental Plane. It is a completely different uh, set of circumstances, you might say. Uh. Uh, that, I, I, I kind of like pop my head up and I start screaming just like Granite! Gemini! Slate! Start looking around. I start like just going around looking, yelling. How long do you want to do that? Just, <laughs> just, just like 15 seconds. I'm just like making a general like yell, calling for some random names they don't know yet they just some random um, names yep no, he's just yelling in the air guys he's he's yelling about rocks um howard i just have a quick quick question if one was to traverse from an elemental plane to our realm of existence would that affect his head his brain you know uh typical typically planar teleportation doesn't really usually have mental side effects it does affect uh, the passage of time though it can have various temporal implications, but not typically mental. Okay. Um, let's, uh, well, I, I don't know. Like, should we just bring him along? I mean, I don't want to, like, we can't just leave him out here, I guess. But uh, as they're talking, I turn around and come and say, can you help me? Just get, get back to back. Uh, Back, back. I have a family I need to protect. And I, I, I don't see them, and I, I don't see them, them. It, it might help if you told us how you got here in the first place. Um, I, I don't necessarily know how I got to here, well, here. But what I remember, I was walking with, with my family. Just, you know, trying to get from, from 
where I was to where I was going. And uh, there's this bright light. And I stood in front of it to, to shield my family. And, and yeah, I'm here now. I was sat on by that thing. Now I'm talking to you. Um, I've, have you been like hit on the head recently as well? What? No. Well, <laughs> yes. Yes. I mean, many times I grew up fighting and getting hit on the head, but, but, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, then. Well, that answers that question. Well, so, so, I mean. here's the, so here's the thing, Sted. Pay attention. Come on, focus, focus for a second. What? So, <laughs> we, I'm, we're on a very important mission. Um, we have some very, you know, the giants, like we have giants to fight and we have like drag, like, there's a whole okay. big thing going on that we are a part of. Okay. So we can't like, okay. Like, okay. Uh, what's the word? Like we, we're in the middle of something, so we can't uh, with your problem. But if you want to join us, like you can come with us until maybe we'll find someone who knows how how to plan our teleportate or teleportation. I'd plan our teleportation. Who knows about that? We could probably maybe we'll run across someone like that. At that point, can I start fading? No. No. Okay. What? Nothing. I was just asking Darian a question. I gotta work out that detail with him. Um, so I kind of just like look around. So if I help you, will you help me? Sure. I can see one on. Do you I find it most fascinating that you managed to turn, uh, make your way to a completely different dimension? That's normally very high level magic. Sure. <laughs> I forgot about Howard's curiosity. <laughs> do you, do you, Sid? Do you know any magic? Uh, I can walk on rocks without leaving footprints. It, that I mean, that is magical, but <laughs> I, mean, I take it. I take it you're not like you don't like cast spells. You don't. You don't uh, like c command the elements. Um. No. 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 Wait. Wait. No. Wait. I can throw rocks. Does that count? That does not count. But. Uh, uh, well, no. No. Okay. I, I know. I know what magic is, though. Slate, my 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 friend, Slate, he's magical, and. Uh, uh, I, yeah, I, yeah. Okay then. <laughs> um. Nerf, what have you been doing this whole time? <laughs> I went over to the ruins of the airship, and I'm looking for the harpoon gun. <laughs> I, it's, it's still mounted to the top of the ship. Okay. What do you want to Can do with I this unfasten? harpoon gun? This is a very large harpoon gun. It takes a few people.
Welcome back. Sorry for technical glitches. My computer just BSOD'd and I was sad. So, um, I forgot what we were talking about. Does anybody else remember? I'm taking the harpoon gun. Oh, you're trying to... <laughs> that's what you were doing. That's right. So, the limbs of the... Of, uh, essentially the crossbow section. They're about 20 feet in total diameter. From front to back of this crossbow is about 30 feet. Uh, it weighs too much for you to pick up on your own. Like, it's just too bulky and too heavy to pick up by yourself. I guess the thing is massive. This is a war, this is like a war crossbow, like a, like a, um, siege crossbow. I'll call over to Howard. Howard! <laughs> I, I look away from Obsidian. Say, what is it, Nerf? I'm here. I need help. I walk over to see what he's doing. Can you cast fly on this? On an object? I don't believe it works that way. The crossbow? Double checking stuff real quick. Uh, now, unfortunately, the flying only works on sentient creatures. It doesn't really work on objects themselves. Hmm. What if we take strips of meat off the ogres and tie it to the crossbow? <laughs> Cast fly on them. Uh, I don't think ships of meat are sentient. Corpses are not sentient either. Mm, Even I knew that. that. <laughs> hey, Darian, while they're figuring this out, can I... I'm going to take my water skin, and I'm going to pour out the water, and I'm going to take the remaining poison in the poison sack and try to pour it in there. Okay. I'm going to as you, um, you pour out your, your water skin and you begin to, to dribble this acid in, there is this loud hissing sound. It's not acid, it's poison. Poison acid, they're, they're similar. What? Yeah, folks. A lot of okay, no, a actually, lot of acids are poisons. Okay, okay, let, then let me get it straight. Is this going to be, because like, you had agreed earlier that it was just poison, but is it like a, an acidic poison? Is that like just straight up that's, what it is? That's just kind of how I think of it. Okay, then I'm not going to do that. I'm not dumb enough to like, if I know it's like an acidic kind of poison, I'm not going to do well, it. Well, like, no matter what you put it in, unless it's glass, it's going to slowly eat away at it. Okay, and never mind. Then I'm poison. not done. So. I, I won't do that then. Never mind. Okay. Nor that I said any of those. Yeah, and, and it does have an expiration date. I think you're getting pretty close to the end of its expiration date. Actually, let me, let me look that up real quick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. I'm gonna turn. Ah, uh, shoot. Um, Unless you can find hey, a way to preserve it. Obsidian, do you have any glass vials on you? <laughs> um. Um. No. Well, Nerf, unfortunately, I don't think I would really hope you carry this harpoon gun out of... Mm. What if we put the cultists on it? <laughs> they're, they're still sentient. Uh, it might still be too heavy for them, unless we can convince them to come with us and drag the harpoon gun uh, the entire way to our destination. Just had them be load bearers for it. I'll wave down the the captain of the ship. Uh, yes. He kind of walks over. Where are you and your group planning on going now? We will return to our gathering. We will return to the dragon and report on what has happened. 
Will you help me unhook the harpoon gun? I'm sorry? We need it. The harpoon gun is bolted to the deck. It doesn't come off easily. Looking at Alright. Well, help me aim it, then. <laughs> oh, what are we aiming it at? The dead ogre. The dead... The one that isn't melting. Ogre? Uh, I do I not guess. see any ogres. Or the dead giant, sorry. You want to Got shoot the aim. shoot a corpse with Damn a harpoon gun? Damn straight I do. Okay. So he gets a couple people, they point their harpoon gun, load it. I'm gonna tell the others to move away from the It's all place. yours. Uh, guys, Nerf really wants to try out that harpoon gun, so we might want to step away from this giant corpse. I'm gonna shout, shout duck and fire. Make an attack roll. Uh, what should I roll? Just Power a d20. Attack. A d20 plus your dexterity modifier. You do not have training with this weapon. Oh, <laughs> please crit fail. Because I want to shoot Hadar. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. That's funny. It's Do the words. A 10. It's a 10. So... This massive iron bolt just boom, thuds into the ground right in front of the giant. <laughs> he, he missed. <laughs> he he certainly did, Sid. He certainly did. He missed pretty bad too. I didn't tell any of you where I was aiming. I just said duck. Howard looks up from his prone position on the dirt. Uh, stands up and immediately moves away from the two who are making fun of the person on uh, the uh, harpoon gun. <laughs> and away from the giant corpse. <laughs> hey, Howard, Howard, I'm going to come up to you and nudge you and say, hey, do you have any glass vials? Uh, do I have any glass vials in my herbology kit? Um, kit? I would think so. I feel like you should. Let me double yeah. check that. Yeah, it does have files. Yeah, you also have like left. any potions of healing that you drink. I imagine you keep the vials, but that's only if you've been keeping track. But yeah, it does say it comes with some vials. That's how we make potions even begin with. Uh, so, hold on. I reach into my pack, pull out my early look at a uh, vial, and here we are. Thank you. I'm going to pour some. I'm going to make another vial of that poison. All right. And then when I'm done, I'm going to take the poison. Um, I don't know. What's fun thing can I do with this poison? Dry and powder it. Can we? Can we try a hot potato? <laughs> this is a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather not. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna. Sip. I'm gonna take the the poison sack out. I'm just gonna drop it on. Oh, it's pretty much useless now. I like potatoes. As the as the poison seeps out from the sack, all the vegetation in the area that it touches just immediately wilts and dies. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put it in some dense vegetation. I think it won't affect the environment at all. I'm pretty sure. Toxic sludge yeah. begins to boil from the ground. Here, this strong kit should mark up. Hey, Obsidian, do they have a uh, poison in your realm? Uh, yes. Is it powerful? It kills people. <laughs> wow, well, you, you, I. Sitting, you're great. I just want to say that you're great. You're just oh. great to talk to. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate appreciate it. So, where are we going? Well, 
Where we're going is we're going to get a weapon. I have powerful a weapon. weapon. Uh, it's a it's a more it's a very powerful weapon. How powerful? Like more powerful than your weapon. Ooh, that's a powerful weapon. <laughs> yes, and then we're gonna kill my family, and then like. Ah! How would you want to do that? It, it don't worry about it. They're evil. They're like very very evil. Oh, <laughs> don't okay. worry about it. Don't worry about it. They're, they're like. The water to your earth. What? Isn't that how that works? Like earth is weak to water. Or something? They make you wet and soggy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What, what's the opposite of your of the earth elemental plane? The I don't element, know. The Where's elements are not. Op- the elements are not opposites. We are one. <laughs> we are one in the same purpose. Oh, yeah. What is one. your purpose? What's your purpose? Oh, my purpose? Uh, I kill things with my sword. That's... <laughs> fine, what, 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 fine, whatever. Anyway, they're evil. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. You get that, you get what evil is? Yes, I'm not stupid. I'm just gonna, Hedar's <laughs> not gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Well, okay. Well, uh, is it okay if I come with you, guy? With you? With, with, uh, yeah. yeah, we said you can. Thank you. Thank, thank you. By the way, do you eat? Do you need to eat stuff? Who doesn't need to eat stuff? <laughs> you come from a different <laughs> realm of existence. It's a normal question to ask. Oh. I don't know what's to find as normal here in this realm, but yes, I eat. Okay, just wanted to make sure that we had to worry about that. My favorite thing to eat is potatoes. That's great. <laughs> it's really great. <laughs> he especially likes some deep fried in giant fat. <laughs> and I like dragon fat better. What was that? Dragon fat. Do you even know what dragons are? Yeah, there's dragons in the elemental planes. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, Howard, uh... Dragons everywhere. By by the way, Howard, did you see Marin? What happened to him? Uh, Howard went back to the ship to go... Oh. ...talk to Nerev. Oh, that's right. Well, Obsidian, let's go back to the ship. I think we're missing a crucial member of our party. You can you can call me Sid. It's fine. Uh, okay. Well, I've fine. Sid, let's go. I'm gonna. While well, all this is going down, talk to the cap. Captain, I require another bolt. <laughs> it seems we haven't killed all our enemies. <laughs> Feel free to do as you wish with this, but my crew. We are, we are heading out. It's a long journey bolt. back home for us. I You're got to be angry if you don't help me. <laughs> I highly doubt that. <laughs> mm, you can load it yourself. I know. I want them to do it though. All right, cool. I'll start looking for a bolt and a record. There's a chest of the bolt. So the, their ship landed properly. It's just got a big hole in the middle of it now. Oh, okay. So there's the box. You can flip open the box, and there's five or six iron bolts in there. All right, I'm going to load it. Okay, takes you a bit longer as you pull the winch back and and load the iron bolt. But it's ready to fire. At this point, at this point, that Howard the, shows the, up. the rest of the party has reached the ship. At this point, I'm gonna wave down. Sid, go stand on top, on top of that bolt over there. Point over in the distance. What? Go stand over there. Where? Where that bolt is in the distance. Right here. Where the the giant is. Oh, well. Uh. 
I think you might think I'm stupid. I know you're going to try to hit me. No, I don't. Just go, go over there. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't want, I don't, I don't want to do that. I'm going to fire it off. No, you're just firing it anything. just off into the distance. Yes. Okay. Whoosh. Doom. Well, pretty far. So, so Howard, what is Nerf doing? What What is per? I think he just wanted to shoot the harpoon gun at least once before we okay. take it forever. Um, by the way, I know we've been like so many things have happening. We've made a new friend. We've hey. built some giants. Uh, where is Marin? I'm going to take a quick look around. He is uh, inside the ship, going through, make, like taking inventory of the supplies and on the ship. Oh, I was kind of hoping he'd be unconscious. Well, yeah. Can can you can you call? Let's let's get Marion and let's let's start heading out. I feel like it will be night soon. Question mark. Look <laughs> in the sky. <laughs> okay, fine. I look at the sky. What? Make a survival day? check. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. I just need to. I don't need to make a survival check to know. Well, it depends on how accurate you want your information to be. All I need to know is like the rough time of day. Oh, I can figure that out day. by looking at the. As you gaze up to the beautiful sunset, you're like, "Hey, it's how do dark. you gaze up to a sunset?" Because <laughs> he's looking down. Oh, you hand. look up. He wasn't looking down. Are you sure? <laughs> Just look directly in the sun. <laughs> so I look for the oh, sun and I, see, and I see it setting. Okay, sweet. Well, why don't we just make camp within the crumbled remains of this airship and then we head out in the morning. And the airship promptly explodes. <laughs> what? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> So was Marin gathering supplies we might need, like uh, food and such? Yeah, he found some provisions. Make a perception check. But he's stealing it all for himself. I did a 19. I did a 20. Wait, what are we rolling? You see him, he's in pocket a couple items, but you didn't see what they were. Did the okay. cultists leave anything behind? The ship. Yeah. Marin is, I mean, like inside. That Marin isn't currently taking. Um, they left like their excess supplies. They kind of gave it to you. They don't have a use for it. I want to look for a map. Is there any maps? A map? They took the. They did take their charts with them because maps are very expensive and hard to come by. Well, they just ditched us without a map. They That's told nice. them where to go. Well, I know, yeah. but still, you know, at least like if of all the things they could have left for us, like a map would have been. You know, those ungrateful turds. <laughs> well, we didn't give them anything. They were like the great. They were the ones that were giving us. So, yeah, really and complain. we crashed their ship. <laughs> okay, yeah. you and Marin crashed. Your no, I advocated I mean, against it. I, th I don't believe that. Nerf, come on. You were just firing the harpoon for no reason. Are you really trying to make me believe that you are egging Marin on with his stupid experiments with the with this rod right here? I pulled out of my my satchel. Are you, are you the one that has it? Yeah. I prefer to live. That's why I didn't want him to use the rod. Yeah, but I I bet you didn't know that at the time. I already anyway. used it once before. Marin so, got a hold of it. So are you all friends? Or um, yeah, uh, yeah, sure. We're friends. Then why, are you gonna, fight, why do you fight um, so much? Um, because that's, well, we, it's not serious. I'm just going to playfully punch Nerf in the arm. See, we're, we're friends. Like, we just, just like getting on each other's nerves sometime. Isn't that right, Nerf? That's right. Except I'm going to reach over and pull Marin over to me with my arm around his shoulder. Except this poor soul here. This lad has a very costly disease. What? So, what disease is that? 
Uh, it's very great. We have to constantly take care of him. Mary's just kind of looking at you weird. You see, he <laughs> suffers from a severe case of stupidity. Oh. It's contagious. It's 100% <laughs> fatal. I hope I don't catch it. Test something with that rod, though. I mean, we did come all the way down here to try things out with it. Uh, so is stupidity a disease here in this world, then? Yeah, he has a very grave case of it. Uh, it's essentially his fault why we're down here. Uh, oh, well. Okay. And I'm sorry, we're, we're throwing a lot of things at you, you said, but just, just, just roll with it. Okay. You're, you're one of us now. Uh, Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> at that point, I'm going to like turn to like Howard and just like punch him really hard on accident. <laughs> <laughs> what? Cause, like, the, how do you accidentally like, punch somebody hard? Because he, he doesn't know how strong Hadar is, and so he saw the punch, so he's just going to straight up just punch Howard. <laughs> Are you okay with this, Howard? I'm going to try and dodge out of the way if I okay. see a bunch coming. Um, make an attack roll, Sid. Oh. <laughs> Natural one. You just like, you go to punch him, but instead you just kind of like start, like you just kind of like weirdly caress his shoulder. <laughs> so that no, um, okay, Sid. No, I don't. That, that's that's. I I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's okay. It'll take some time to adjust. Yes. Yeah. I don't. If okay. you guys have ever seen um Kung Fu Hustle, the movie. Yes. I I just imagine in that one fight scene when they're fighting the. La uh, the landlady's husband, like the kung fu master, that one guy throws a punch and it bounces off and comes back and breaks all of his teeth out. <laughs> Just imagine that happening. Um, quick question though: Why is there an animal on this Marin's oh, head? Meow. Oh. God. Uh, uh, sure. Cat's return? Ferris? Did everybody forget about Ferris? Yeah, no, he was but there. I didn't know he returned already. He, he, came, he came back with information about the uh, Temple of Bahamut, remember? The box. Oh, that's right. The box couldn't open. I just, I just blame his name for a second. Oh, you mean Ferris? It, it, it has a name. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is it? Uh, you can think of him as a flying cat. Or just kind of a pet of ours. Huh. Okay. Pest? Did you say pest? Pet. <sighs> well, I'm going to, uh, get my bedroll and I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep. Because, um, yeah, that fight with the, the, the hill hill giants was not a walk in the park. So, so I'm just going to rest. And inside the well, ship is probably not the best part place to sleep since it's falling apart. Just as a heads up. There's just like a hole in one side of it, right? So No, it's through both sides of it. Well, you no, say I know. It so is like, structurally compromised? Yes. If the ship is this way, like this is the bow and this is the stern the rock went yeah. through the majority of the middle of it okay on both sides so it's like this big gaping hole kind of looks like a almost looks like a lean to without the back got it okay well then i will sleep right outside the ship and I'm can just we try sell one quick thing with the rod real quick yeah i want to do oh no, no. <laughs> No. I just want to take it, <laughs> entire rope from it to a ballista, and shoot it, and see what happens. Ooh. <laughs> Howard, I like the way you think. <laughs> I feel like you would break the ballista. Well, it's just a ballista bolt. I'm, uh, I'm currently fetching a bolt and getting rope. Okay, I mean, sure. So I'll take the rod out, and I'll, like, put it next to the ballista... 
um, the ballista thing, the harpoon gun, and I'm going to extend it right next. So you're putting it... <laughs> what? Get, be a little more specific. I'm trying to paint this picture, Matt. What are you doing? Okay, so, so I walk up to where the harpoon gun is. Yes. And I'll... And I, I won't be right next to it, but I'll be close, and I'm going to extend the extendo rod. And I'm just gonna like hold on to it, I guess. I don't know. Like just... as soon as you extend it, it's fixed in space. Got so it. You can, well, I... you can let go. Yeah. So it's just, like, just existing. In Where space. did you put it? Did you just put it next to it. Uh, not right next to it, but close. Like, like. Are you gonna try to head level? So you're gonna try to shoot it. No, they're going to tie it. Weren't you going to tie a ballista bolt to it? Yeah, tie a bolt to the rod and then shoot it out at the harpoon. Oh, okay, okay. I'm on the same page now. Yeah. I'll load it and start tying the rope. Okay. So you pull out some rope, tie it around the immovable rod. Tie it around the uh, 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 bolt from the harpoon gun. Shoop. Crank it back and fire. As the bolt flies, the rope kind of follows after it, and as soon as it reaches the end, boom, the rope breaks. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Maybe we need more rope. Uh, I don't think we need more. We might need some stronger rope at some point, but. but... Maybe some chains. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't really have the, any on me, but I'm gonna take the rod. I'm gonna rescind it, and then I'm gonna put it back into my satchel. I'll be like, guys, like, I, f I feel like just bad things happen when you experiment. It's like, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, but wait, they're fun. but our wait, I have one more test. This one's, I promise, it's tame. And what's what's the test? I want to activate it against a rod. Yeah, I think we just proved that when it's like activated, it doesn't move. No, so, I have a different idea. What's your other idea? Just hand me it and you'll see. No. <laughs> yes. Just hand no. it over. No, I'm not handing it over. Come on. No, you come on. Don't you want to know? Not really. I'm just going to hold on to it for now. And uh, you can go back to firing your little harpoon gun, and I'm going to go to bed. I'm gonna look at Howard. It's not very scarly of him. <laughs> Don't even start with me, Nara. <laughs> Don't even start with me. Uh, tomorrow, we'll do it tomorrow. Sure, whatever. I'm gonna go lie down and undo my bedroll and go to sleep. I'm okay. gonna make a fire and cook. Me, uh, some food. Because jokes on all of you, I have cooking utensils. <laughs> you will all go hungry. I have rations. Mm, tasty rations. Can I eat some of the giant? No. I mean, you can. I don't see why not. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm going to look around at whoever else is still awake and say, we could have steaks. I like I'm, I'm still awake. Uh, steaks made of what? Do they have oh. some? Extra... Ah, the gnome is huge. Come on. I'm huge. Oh, you know, <laughs> just the uh, giant we killed. Giant steak? I, I don't know. They doesn't sound the greatest to me. And isn't one of the ones you killed poisoned? Well, we have a perfectly good other ogre or giant. You're more than welcome. I think I'd rather stay out of this one. <laughs> I'm going to do it, Darian. I'm going to grab a knife, my daggers, and go carve me a nice hearty okay. steak. Make a dexterity check. Actually, before you leave, Nareth, I'm going to shout out. Do you know what? 
Hit me, hit me, get me one too. Yeah. I'll give him a thumbs up. Okay. Uh, just make it. Just make one dexterity check. Okay. Oh, eight. Eight. So you gotta like hack at the at the corpse, and you cut off like a piece of the flesh around its stomach. Uh, you get you get kind of like two raggedy lumps of meat. How do you prepare them? Wait, I don't get to say I'm where I take the meat. You can take it from wherever you like. The thigh, of course. All right. <laughs> They look the same. <laughs> Come on, Darian. Everyone knows their, where the meat is cut from. Where? What do you? How are you going to prepare this? Um, I guess cooking utensils like a pot and stuff, right? Yeah, but like, what are you going to do to this meat as you to cook it? I'm gonna just take it and slap it right on the fire. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'll look at Hadar. How well do you like it cooked? Well, considering that this is giant meat, I kind of want it, like, really cooked. Oh, no. Yeah, you have a point. No, probably well done would probably be the best. <laughs> no, I'll cook our steaks to well done. Okay, just a second. Yes, little does the party know. Nerif is a skilled chef. Well, maybe not skilled. I would hope you use other more mundane ingredients from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, none of us are killing anything else other than giants. You can try to go hunting. Yeah. But when you have just that big old giant corpse right there, you got you're tempted. You got to taste at least. Kind of scared of what Darian's looking up. Okay. So the uh, the sm the sizzling ch hunks of meat on the hot coals of the fire fills the entire campsite with the smell of burning flesh. Oh shoot! Are you gonna eat him? <clears throat> Are we gonna eat him? Yeah. yeah. Eat it. Okay. Both of you make con pass. Constitution saving throws. <laughs> oh shoot! What is that? Just a D twenty plus the saving modifier. Um, should be, yeah, it's, that is exactly what it's and if you have proficiency, okay. add your proficiency. I do, actually. That should, have 12. Be, that should be on the number already. Oh, yeah, if in uh, roll 16. 20, you just add whatever number's there. Forget about roll yeah. 20. 16. 16, and Hadar, you are 14? 12. 12? Both of you. This is the most rancid, disgusting thing that has ever touched your tongue. And you both <laughs> begin to gag. You, you can't even keep it down. It is so disgusting. Both of you suffer the poisoned condition. I want to roll deception. Deception? Go, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> well, deception is for if anybody challenges what you have to say. So just well, say, say what I you're going to say. If they don't believe you, they'll insight check you. I choked down whatever I was, amount I was chewing on. And, and when it hits your stomach, it just nauseates you. Then I'll start laughing and point to Howard. To, I don't know who else is up. Is everyone up? I think everybody's up at this point. Marin has gone to bed. Marin, yes. <laughs> Marin has gone to bed. Marin is sleeping. Okay. I'll start laughing. And say, ha! Ah. All, right. All you do is eat your cold, stale ration. We have fine meat. Fine meat, you say? Well, Hadar doesn't look like he's enjoying that fine meat too much. 
it's a it's a little too uh what's the, what's the word hold on it's a little too robust for my pa palate <laughs> yeah it's it, it is a little gamey but what can you expect from a giant idiot it smells like the fart um <laughs> You just say, can you repeat that, Josh? It smells like the f I experienced, though. <laughs> so, did either of them actually physically throw it up? Um. No. Actually, Nerf, make another constitution saving throw. <laughs> All right. Because you actually swallowed it. Um, 16. You feel the bile begin to rise in your stomach. <laughs> You're going to vomit in like five seconds. <laughs> I'm going to stand up and say, well, nature called. I'm going to walk off behind the bush. <laughs> <laughs> the, the sounds of his retching uh, disturb even Marin's dreams. <laughs> well, yeah, safe I, to say. Guys. <laughs> well, I guess it's, it's safe to say that uh, giant meat is edible. I'm gonna take the meat and just throw it, like throw it, toss it behind me. I think I'll stick with some of the provisions we. I'll pop out from behind the bush and say, "Whew." That water really goes right through you. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like a little bit of a little bit of vomit <laughs> hanging out of the corner of his mouth. <laughs> Wiping my chin. Sounded like you puked. Nope. I I'll think sit down and break open your ration. <laughs> 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 I have no idea what you could be talking about. Well, puking is when you, you know, excrete, like, substance from your mouth that was inside you. Is Only that a word? Do that. That's interesting. I mean, everyone in my world does that. Are you related to gnomes? Hmm? Huh? What? <laughs> I don't know. Am I? Are, are you part Genasi, Howard? Uh, no. And yeah, Tara just kind of shakes his head and walks, <laughs> walks away. <laughs> <laughs> just as a side note, a Genasi is the co the combination of a genie and another humanoid. Does not specify what kind. So it could be enough. So. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Howard disappears behind some bushes or something. Oh, I wonder where he's walking up to. So, um, Sid. Yes. So, do do they have like humans in your elemental plane? Um, no, they don't. Actually. So all you've ever met are your are other Genasi? Um, no. I've met elementals, uh, dragons, other creatures of the elements. But okay. that's it. Oh, I, and I met a dwarf as well, actually. Oh, so you, you met a dwarf? A dwarf. Do you have a name? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna look at uh, Sid <laughs> like expectant expectantly. Like. <laughs> oh. Oh, his name was Hrothgar. Rothgar, huh? Her Rothgar. Her Rothgar. Her Rothgar. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Her Rothgar. Y yes. Yes. <sighs> Well, um, you know, after eating that disgusting rancid piece of meat, 
I think it's time for me to turn in. What are you talking about discuss? <laughs> you can just... try to play it off all you want, Nerif, but we all heard you vomiting uncontrollably just a second ago. Nerif, as you reflect <laughs> on the taste, if it could even be called that, of the, the meat that you had consumed, you're, you feel the bile again begin to rise in your stomach. It doesn't cause you to vomit, but you can just kind of like feel it cr crawling up your throat. I fold my arms and shake my head. Nope. And I guess after some obvious facial, me trying to hold down my stomach. <laughs> no, it was perfectly fine. Huh. You look like you're about to puke. No, not at all. But Art, you should share, share some of that with Sid. Like I said, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'm not going to eat that food. It's a dragonborn cuisine, but don't you know? Mm, no. Dragonborns can keep it, though. Good night. Can I kind of just fall over the ball? It looks like a lump of rock, just kind of laying <laughs> in this opening. While I'm asleep, I need to pee. So. Continue. I'll stand up and loudly exclaim, All you lily livers have no taste for fine cuisine. I'll throw out my bedroll. Okay. Hadar, are you climbing into bed as well? Yeah, I'm, I'm just like giving up on tonight, really. I just. <laughs> And I'm just like, just trying to my best to pass out. Okay, as the night passes, dawn approaches. Before you finish that, before dawn approaches. What? At a PM. going on uh private conversation i guess we're gonna see if something interesting happens it was the private conversation between the sun and the moon they're talking about how much they love each other and I need everybody to make a perception check with disadvantage. Shoot, we didn't put anyone on. Actually, I, when I said I went to bed, I keep my eyes open when I... <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I sleep with my eyes open. This is that's how me. All, that's how all Dragonborn sleep, don't you know that? Shh. I thought you were the DM. I, my I got a 15 with disadvantage. 19. You, you said with disadvantage, right? Yes, everybody at your yep. sleep. Yep, 19. Okay. Dang it. I got... Um... 10. Plus, I can feel vibrations in the earth. <laughs> it doesn't help if you're asleep. It's true. Sure it does.
By the way, don't forget to be giving each other inspiration. Can everybody tell me what their perception checks were again? Mine was 10. 15. Sid? Perception, 19. Nerf, what was yours? I sent it to you. 17. No, your perception check. Oh, shit. Um, oh, God. Three. <laughs> okay. Um, I got to whisper. We're going to use the chat to whisper. So, how about them red socks? Bright socks? The great white sock of the north. Don't think I've come across that one in my travels. But there's the dire caterpillar. Maybe it's one of the sock is a hat. <laughs> When a sock is a hat. Could you do that? <laughs> the legend grows. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the campaign's final boss. It'll be the world's final boss. The world is not prepared for the dire caterpillar. No one's ready for him. This is it. This is interesting. This is like playing ping pong. Sorry guys, whispering is very strange and I have this is I think this is the first time I've we've ever done it. For an extended period, yes. Well, ever since our first few sessions. Okay. I think we're almost there. I'm yeah. very, very concerned. What time is it, Darian? Um, it's, it's night time. I'm not as concerned. Do we? Uh, <laughs> do I have a rough estimate what time? 
Basically, am I full health right yet? With a short, re long rest, short rest? Not yet. You have to sleep for at least six hours. Okay, so... I'm just doing something in the middle of the night. Somebody's doing okay. something. I okay. I think we all know it's Marif. <laughs> I'm soundly asleep. What are you talking about? Everybody hears a tick 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 to the north the uh, the sound of something large and heavy impacting the ground uh, can be heard by everybody by Tiamat's gangrenous heart what is that bones is going on here I love uh, that <laughs> fantastic <laughs> Gangrenous heart. <laughs> yes, she's got a heart full of malice and pure gushy evil. Of course, it's gangrenous. Don't you know anything? But besides uh, that, what the freak just happened? Is it well, morning or is it? Middle? It's night. It's it's dark. It's pitch black. There's the glow. There's there's the glow of the embers from the fire that Howard, you can't actually see. Yeah. Do I? Uh, yep. Do I? Do we get short rest for that? Uh, no, it has not been long enough for a rest. It hasn't even been an hour? It's been about 45 minutes. Howard, quick, cast light or something. I'm not next uh, to you. <laughs> <laughs> you look around for Howard and you notice that he's he like, there's no bad roll on the ground. There is no Howard that you can see. Um, I heard footsteps and then I heard the boom. Over there, and yeah, that's why I'm up. I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna try and stoke the fire to make it, just to get enough of a fire going to, so I can see better. Okay. No, no. I'm, I'm gonna try to stop him. Don't, don't, don't do that yet. Why not? Cause some, somebody was here. Okay. Shouldn't I stoke the fire so we can better see if something behind? I don't think so. It might not be the best idea. Okay, well... What should we do then? I think just wait and get ready for something bad to happen. You're just full of good ideas. I roll up and go back to sleep. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna pull out my, my longbow. And an arrow. Have you guys uh, just like, uh, are you, have you guys just uh, been, like, Howard, are you just hearing echoes of their conversation? Probably. Okay. Nerf. Nerf? Go. <laughs> He's another, setting up the <laughs> Another sound. <laughs> it's in a similar ah. direction. Makes a loud okay. thudding noise. Um, Hadar, is it possible that your friend the half-orc could be shooting harpoons? Uh, no, because... No? At least I don't hope so. I hope not. But he's oh. not here. And he's, I heard... He's not here? No. Okay, then. <laughs> um, well then. <laughs> Howard! Howard! Okay, so obviously someone, something's taken them. I think we need some light so we can figure out what's going on. Sounds more distant this time. Um, if, if you wish, I don't think it's the best idea, but okay. Do you have another idea, Sid? Really? Like, anything? Can you see in the dark? Because I can't see in the dark. Um, no. Okay. 
So like, I don't, I don't know what you want me to do, Sid. Like, cause we're just kind of just grasping in the dark. Did hey, you just, there... did you just step on the? My 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 computer was wigging out. Okay, <laughs> did you just step on the fire. <laughs> If you wish to I, let it, you I'm may. I'm going to say I only hear muffled. I don't actually understand what's being said, especially okay. since I... Are you just kind of like around in my back are, bed. are you just kind of tuning it out? <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to I'm going to go back towards the airship. Can you come with me? Hadar? Sure. I'll go back with you to the airship. Okay. We go back to the airship. Darian. Yep. What, has anything happened? Not yet. Okay, when we go up to the, the harpoon gun, do we find anything? Make a make an investigation check. Uh, 17. Um, you hear four. the a, a sound of uh, of some footsteps, some scraping, uh, a clang as if something had run into the side of the ship, uh, on the underbelly of the ship. What's left of it? Okay, so I take it there's nothing around the harpoon. Nope. Okay. So Sid, do you did you feel that like some the side of the ship? I did. Okay. Well. Well, some, something's obviously in there. I say the best way to smoke it out is to set the entire ship on fire. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm with you on that, actually. I'm going to take out my flint, and, and I'm just going to start, like, <laughs> casting sparks on the ship, trying to catch it on fire. Okay. Shink, shink, shink. Um, there was a huge furnace on the top of the ship. The top of the ship has been treated... Uh, with with um, concoctions to pre help prevent fire. Oh, can I like? I don't know. Um, I'm going to. Dang it! Well, I don't have anything to catch anything on fire. Otherwise, than that. I have some wine. Would that catch? It's alcohol. Just as sure, a historical we'll side note, wine is not as alcoholic as you think. Shut up. <laughs> it's more closer. Okay, it's gonna, like old grape juice. I'm gonna go up to the um, to the furnace, and I'm going to. Uh... Oh, no, I'm not gonna do that. Never mind. That's a little. Um, do you know? I'm like, do you know what? Let's go back down to Howard because Howard's got spells. Maybe he can like the, he can create like a big thing of fire. Because okay. like at this point, because I feel like us groping around in the dark is not the best way to go about. It. Sounds good. So we're gonna head back down and go back to camp. Okay. As you head back, make a perception check. I got a 24. 12. It is a beautiful night tonight. The, there are some owls that are swooping by, making their melodic hooting noises. There, the grass is sweet. The smell What's in the, the air is fresh. What? Uh, it is the moon. Like what phase? The moon? Uh, the moon is a waxing crescent. And the stars okay. tonight are beautiful. You can see part of the, the galaxies hanging in the heavens. I don't I don't hear any I don't think hear or see anything. You hear crickets chirping in the grass telling you that the temperature outside is about seventy six degrees Fahrenheit. Really? I got a twenty four of perception and I don't get in squat. That's great. Got the temperature. <laughs> so I'm gonna when we get to camp, I'm gonna go over to where Howard was and I'll wake him from his sleep. Do you know where Howard is? Yeah, yeah we he saw him leave. We saw him go into the bushes. Make a perception check. Oh, jeez. 13. Uh, 
Seven. Well, actually, I got a one, a natural one. <sighs> uh, Hadar, as you're walking forward and you take you take a step, and as you step, your foot does not find ground, and you begin to fall. What the blah! Boom. How far something, do I something fall? heavy lands on top of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What the heck? I have a Hadar, you have dark vision. Hadar, what are you doing here? I uh, tried. Uh, why did you sleep underneath or something? Jeez. I, I mean, I played bringing out my uh, wand and cast light on it to illuminate it. Are you all right? Yeah, you I'm notice, fine. You said, notice, Hadar, said that this you is are just inside a of my portal hole. Yeah. Said, this is just a hole in the ground. Like, the ground is completely flat all around. There's just this weird hole. Okay, cool that you're <laughs> sleeping in a hole. But Nerf has gone missing, and I'm hearing no place. Nerf went missing? Yeah, and I feel like something's stalking us. So could you please, like, illuminate more of the camp? I haven't seen Marin either, so I haven't checked up on him yet. So climb up out of the hole. Uh, by the way, my alarm spell would have went off when they, well, as soon as Hadar went into it. But yeah, right. uh, so we climb out. Do you also climb out, Hadar? Yeah, I climb out. Yeah, I do. I, well, let's go. I fold up go. the portable hole and put it in my pocket for now. Oh, that's what that is. Completely forgot about that. <laughs> that's like that's like fifteen feet deep. Ten. No, oh, Hadar, how much health do you have? That's like leg breaking <laughs> distance. Twenty two. Oh yeah, you're fine. Anyway, so I guess we're gonna go check where Marin went. Is he still there? Yeah, he's just sleeping in his in his uh, bedroll. Okay, so and a light on my wand so they can actually see. The glow of your wand kind of casts a a blue light around the area, illuminating illuminating the your your campsite. I wish for it to be light. White light. White light? It can be white light. I think I can choose what my color it is. I'm pretty sure you can. Even if you can't, oh well. You just did. Yeah, it can be colored out where like. <laughs> Disco colors, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody party. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, I take a look around. So, where. Are, what are these noises you keep hearing? I heard footsteps and thunking. Okay. I'm gonna go where Nerf's bedroll is. Do I see anything? You see a bedroll. Make a perception Just check. Just no disturbance. Make, a, make an investigation check. I uh, 15. Uh, you, you see a bedroll. There's nothing really around it. It's just, it's a bedroll. His pack's next to it. His armor is, is there. It looks like he just got ready for bed, but he's not in his bed. Oh, that's strange. Um, Nerf, you, Nerf usually goes to sleep in his armor. Nobody really sleeps are. in their armor. FYI. Nerf totally, <laughs> Nerf totally sleeps in his armor. Let's be I mean, I do oh, have, like, the most Hadar. perfect armor. Hadar, is that rod still in your backpack? Yeah. Are you sure? What do you mean, am I sure? Okay, I'm going to go into my back and plop the rod. Okay, you pull it out. Boink. Oh, it's See, still it's still here. Okay. Put it back. I say we torch the whole forest. We torch everything. <laughs> There's Flush no it reason out. to torch the forest. <laughs> this is weirding me out. And uh, I feel like this is the fastest way to get results. I thought I heard the thunk of the one of those harpoon bolts landing earlier. But I figured it was nothing and just went back to sleep. Uh, yeah, did well, you guys we... check the ship? 
Yeah, we did. We didn't find anything, but we did hear something like side of it. I'm gonna but go like, back. Can I go back to the ship? Sure, you're going by yourself. I, I'm. I'm also going back to the ship. Fine, I'm coming with you guys. Okay, you Maybe do. Maybe you guys just didn't see him. I'm just gonna, there messing around I'm, with the. I'm gonna go into the ship guy. though and like look. Okay. Um, for those that are looking, make investigation checks. Okay. I'm gonna use my inspiration to give myself a. You say you're gonna use your inspiration to give yourself advantage? Yeah. Okay. There we Eight. go. Eight. Twenty seconds. Oh, Twelve. Dang. Um. Okay. The spring is kind of fun. I to hear something inside. Uh, follow me. Yeah, I head I towards the belly of the ship. Okay, I have my sword drawn. In case anything jumps out, I'm ready to swing at it. Are you sure? I'm going to look first, obviously. Okay. <laughs> so it's very important. It's, it's very important to look before you try to kill people. Okay, mm -hmm. you uh, you approach a box, or you approach the the hull of the ship in the belly. There's boxes everywhere. There's some crates. Some of them are broken. Most of them are are intact. Um, this is where they held supplies and stuff for their voyages, foodstuffs. Okay, I'm going to take a look around to see if I can find bird. Your your investigations lead you to a crate. Okay. Uh, is it a sealed crate or? Uh, make a perception check. Nine. You're uncertain if it's sealed or not. It's just and it just looks like a crate. So it's closed at the moment, and yeah, there's a lid on it. Okay, but yeah, Can as far I, as being uh, that, sealed, that's kind of what I was going at. Oh, before. yeah, there's a lid. There's a lid on the top. Can Sorry, I, I didn't the crate? know what you meant. <laughs> they meant like nailed shut or something. Can I open the Is there crate? light? Yes, what? I am casting light. Yeah, he's still casting I, light. I want to open the crate. Okay, so you go over and you you pull the lid off. Okay. Hold on, I'm receiving information. So, Sid, you, you pop the top of the lid off, and Nerf, what does he see? Well, as he opens the top, I spring up out of the box, screaming loudly with my hands above my head. <laughs> Do I have to make like a constitution to see how scared I am? Would, would it be constitution? I thought it'd be no, more like a constitution. Dumb. Wisdom or do we all have to make constitution checks? Uh, I think he's just trying to scare Sid. Uh, okay, um, 23. All right, um, Nerf, what'd you roll for intimidation? Oh, I thought I sent it to you. 12. No, you didn't. I don't know why you rolled that. <laughs> that was a wisdom save for you. 
Yeah, Josh, that's a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom? Yep. Okay, well, that's a 19 then. All right. Had an error. Roll an intimidation check. Another one? Yeah, just roll. You already rolled yeah, one. Yeah, rolled one. Well, yeah. Nineteen. Beats it. Beats it. Okay, now you you totally cheese that. He rolled beforehand for for another thing. No, I don't know why he rolled. He sent me a number, but I didn't ask for it. But he said that was his intimidation roll. I didn't yeah. ask him for one. Yeah, but he rolled it anyway. Yeah, uh, just to be I'll clear. You, I'll let you choose, Nerf. I don't know. Choose the one where you're scarier. You want to roll again? Just roll again? Yes. You can both roll again roll. if you'd like. Yeah, I'll roll again if you roll again. I'll roll. Okay, I'll roll one two. more. Okay. 16. Natural 20. Okay, so he pops out making these weird noises. You just kind of look at him weird. <laughs> Nerf, are you serious? Were you trying to scare Sid this entire time? Uh, um, uh, no, uh, I thought you were intruders. Sure. Okay. Wow. Well, was it, is this a joke? Uh, it sure seems like that. Sure seems like it. Well... <laughs> Funny! Oh, oh! No, no, no! It's 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 okay. It's a bad joke. Just it's okay. I, I thought it was funny. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay then. Well, look at that! You made him laugh. Awesome, Nerf. Um, I'm gonna go back to bed. I'm gonna leave them and go back to my bed roll. <laughs> Me too. I'm gonna shout loudly. Hold on, Mr. Dragon. What? <laughs> what? You said you were going to burn the ship. <laughs> yeah, I was going to burn the ship because I thought we were being attacked. You disappear, you leave your armor there. So <laughs> never do. D believe me, I've seen you wear your armor to sleep before. I've seen it, so don't like, try to deny it. Nobody has ever worn their armor to sleep, FYI. You can't sleep in your armor. I don't believe that. I, I believe that I've seen Nerf sleep in his... I'm going to choose to believe that. Okay. You, that, that's fine. You I'm just would. letting you know. <laughs> just letting you, you know. Would burn your own brother in arm alive. <laughs> I didn't know you were hiding in the ship. In How was I supposed to know you were, you were waiting to scare us? I'm going to climb out of the box and storm off angrily. <laughs> How are you angry? How are you angry? <laughs> I have dark vision, so I can see. I awkwardly laugh, but I think this is funny. Howard extinguishes his light and also leaves. <laughs> Goes back to his hole. <laughs> I, follow, I follow behind him and go to sleep as well. Okay. Actually, no, can someone stay on watch? You know what, buddy? Since you had so much fun tonight, why don't you take the first watch? Okay. That's fine. Just wake me up when you're ready to when you're when you're ready to turn in, and I'll take the next watch. Sounds good. Alright, everybody sleeps. The night passes uneventfully as you switch your watches. Uh, the next morning, the sun comes up. Uh, you've slept in a little bit longer than you expected because of your uh, adventures in the evening. Um, Nair, if you are still suffering the effects of poison. All right. From your uh, attempted meal the night before. <laughs> okay. Do you know what those? Do you know what that means? I don't. Okay. Disadvantage on saving throws and attack rolls. Yeah. Okay. How long? For the is day. It? Uh, until you take okay. a long rest. Um, okay. what do you guys do this morning? Wait, really quick. Did we get a long rest from the night's sleep? Yes. Okay. But so, I did not. You did? Um, but the poison's <laughs> effects linger still in your system. 
It's like going to okay. sleep with the Hershey squirts. It it hasn't been it hasn't been long enough for the for the poison to wear off. Okay. I'll rise up out of my bed, and roll, and strike, and say, Ooh, "That was a great sleep. I slept like a baby." That's great. I agree. What else do babies sleep like? <laughs> I'll throw a baby at you. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, um, okay. Well, let's uh, let's just cover up the fire and then let's let's head out. Okay, you cover up. Well, go ahead, speak. Uh, we still have a few days till we get to what is the name? Saying, will that you remember the name of the town we're heading to? Um, sort of. Come on, I, I can remember this, and notes. and you don't. We're going. We're going to the town of Seacumber. Seacumber. That's right. Next to the Great White Sock. I, I, I don't think so. It's next to it's next to Orgoth. It's a few days to Secumber, so we should be on our way. Okay. And just, just to be clear, the ship didn't have any livestock or anything. No, it did not. As we pack up, I'll loudly exclaim, "Man, I miss our, I miss our cart." <laughs> the cart. Yeah. The cart. Which is probably racking up one hell of a bill. Where is the cart? <laughs> I totally it's forgot. This, Do you remember where you left it? Um, I can tell you if I find my notes. But we teleported out of that one city. We couldn't, like, we couldn't fit the horse through the thing. Oh, so for Ireland? Or was it a different one? What did you say? Was it Everland or one of the other ones? I'm pretty sure it was Everland. What do I think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that. we left sure Everland. Was. Yeah, like, just before we broke off from the main story we teleported out of Everland. And we couldn't fit the cart and the horse through the teleport. Yeah, it's too bad. The airship was nice as well. Why do all our nice things get broken, guys? I still have my portable hole. <laughs> just, don't, just don't try to put it in the bag of holding. You just got it. <laughs> And it's really nice. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I'm going to look over to Hadar and say, Hadar, what? let me see the rod. Nope. I'm going to start walking ahead. You want to chase after? I follow behind them. All right. Nope. And so give, your journey to Sikomber begins. No. <laughs> give me the rod. No, I'm not giving you the rod. Can I have the rod? No, you can't have the rod, Sid. <laughs> Why not? Because you... No. No one's having the rod, okay? Don't it's make me take it from you. No, do not... Do not try to take it from me, Nero. Can Howard have the rod? I'm going to shoot a guiding bolt right at your face if you try to take it from me. This is your last chance. Like I hope you look like glitter in your eyes. Last chance. Hand over the rod. No. Leave me alone. As this bickering continues all the way to your next <laughs> campsite. Everybody. I'm going to try and tackle him. Uh, You're going to what? I'm going to tackle Hadar. Are you going to try and dodge Hadar? Yes. Okay, go ahead and make an attack roll. Nerf, just. Why just, is this team actually, Yeah, so, well. He's he's tackling him, so he's got a lunge. I'm gonna see if he can lunge and grab him. That's so what thought. roll am I making? I would just say make an athletics check. Yeah, just make an athletics check. Do oh, I need to do I, 
I can do that and then some. Do, oh, do sorry. I do an uh, acrobatics? Acrobatics. What? Or you could, well, Nair, a- uh, Adar can do acrobatic or athletics. Wait, yeah, everyone. yes, true, true. So I'm doing athletics then, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Indeed. Am I rolling against? Yeah, you're trying to beat him. So use whatever one you're better in. Son of a bitch. Mad at that one. <laughs> I got a, I got a six, but I guess it doesn't really matter because I got an ass. So as, I have a as you, Nerf, as you go to lunge at him, your foot slips on a rock, and and Hadar just kind of puts his hand out and like grabs your face, and you just fall prone, flat on the ground. <laughs> I laugh. Can't touch this. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on Nerys' back, and I'm gonna pull out my dagger. I don't, I like, hear that I don't want you tackling me anymore, or trying to. That was a terrible attempt, by the way, Nerys. Are you done? I'm gonna start squirming, flailing my arm. <laughs> he looks I'll like an it. octopus out of water. <laughs> <laughs> With my face in there, it'll say, Give me the rod, <laughs> you overgrown lizard. Do you know what? I still have some poison on me. I could just pull on your head. How would you like to be even more poisoned? I'll happily drink it. Give me the rod. <laughs> this is this why, is not, not a good idea. Why do you want the rod? Yeah, why do you want the rod there if you... Is the harpoon still working? The harpoon is nowhere in sight. <laughs> Do you know what? Do Wait, you know so what, Nara? The harpoon, the harpoon is the harpoon is not on the ship. You no, were, you've been traveling half a day's journey from the ship. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't know. Go ahead. I'm gonna pull the rod out. And I'm like, Do you know what, Nara? If you want it, you can go get it. I'm gonna throw it. Make a ac- make an athletics check. I'm gonna cast my hand to try and catch it in there. Okay. <laughs> I got a 23. Okay, what's your mage hand, Howard? Uh, so I think it's within 30 feet. I think. Okay, I'm just gonna have to try and grab. What do you want me to roll for that? Uh, make a dex, make an acrobatics check. Okay. With his mage hand? With your spellcasting yeah. modifier ability thing, I think is how it works. Do you want me to add my? Spellcasting modifier? Yes. Okay. Natural 20. So, Howard, you you were just reel back, and it's, with all of your strength, with all your force, you fling this thing. It flies about 15 feet before this, in, this hand appears and grabs it out of the air. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Adar! There's no reason to throw away a magical item Sora gave us. Do you know what? You could shut your stupid face because I'm sick and tired of this guy trying to use everything. I want to attempt to throw Hadar off myself. You can keep it, but I'm just not going to worry about it anymore. You're going to do what? I want to throw Hadar off me if I can. Uh, Make an acrobatics check and Hadar can test it. Uh, if you, actually, Hadar, do you even want to? Like, are you? Do you still want to be on it? Uh, yeah, I want to be on top. I don't want him to. Okay, then yeah. Actually, Hadar, make a strength first. Hadar, make a strength check. Howard, <laughs> not Howard. Nerf. Gosh dang, I can't believe you said that. Um, Nerf, make a either strength or acrobatics check, or saving throw. My choice. Yes. <laughs> not saving throw. Yes, your choice. All right. I'll make a strength saving throw. No, make a make an athletics check. No, oh, the okay. contesting checks. I'm same still difference. Still figuring this out, even though we've been doing this for a year. It's not important. Twenty-six. Dang it! I only got a twelve. So he manages to push you, kind of. How uh, Nerf manages to kind of push it off to the side and get back on his feet. I'll jump up to my feet and say, Howard, let's go. We have experiments. 
I agree that I would like to mess around with this a bit more, but I feel like things are going maybe a bit too far right now. Adar, why do you feel so strongly about this, Rod? I don't. I'm just tired of Nerf's shenanigans. <laughs> and I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna get up and I'm just like, let's sit, let's just keep walking. Uh, I have a question for Darian. Yes. Uh, in the region we're at now, are there any like large rocks or rock formations? Uh, no, it's mostly it's mostly pretty. It's mostly rolling hills and beautiful countryside. All right. Like you can find smaller look, rocks, but nothing. nothing I'll look around. Fist. I'll say, well. We need a very large rock for what I want to try, and there are none here. Well, we'll, we'll save it for later then, Nerf. Yeah. Then yes, unfortunately. My mage hand for, brings the rod to me. Okay. What do you do with it once it arrives? Nerf, do you say anything? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, in that case, I just put it in my pack. Okay. So the rod has made transferred ownership from Hadar to Howard. Please make note of this on your sheets. Done. Okay. This, this has been interesting. The rest of the journey passes with a, a stiff silence between Hadar and Nerf. Um, you reach your campsite, prepare to go to bed. Does anybody wish to do anything? I'm gonna try and fast forward here a little bit. I'm uh, going to I'm going to play the drums in front of the fire. You have drums? Yeah, I'm, I, I can play the drum. I'm going right. to sing. I'm going to sing a old uh, Janasi shanty to myself. Okay. Hey, Darren, actually, there is something I want to do. I want to take one of the vials of poison I have, mm -hmm. and I'm going to prepare five silver arrows to have the poison on them. You can prepare two a day. Two a day? Okay, then I'll just prepare two. In your free time. Okay, make a sleight of... Mm, do you have sleight of hand? Let me think. Sure, that should be I do have sleight of hand. Okay, make a sleight of hand check for each of the arrows. Reach the arrows. Mm -hmm. Got 23 for the first one. And a nine for the second one. Okay, so the first one you, you the 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 one you roll a nine on, you're kind of experimenting with you don't quite I mean you're not a fletcher. Uh, you use a bow and arrow, but uh, you're not a fletcher yourself, so Learning how to coat the poison, you end up uh, crippling and destroying your first arrow, but you are successful in your second attempt. Okay, so I have one poison arrow at the moment. Yes, you have one poison arrow, and you can make three more on the next day. And Howard is going to use his wand and take a look at Sid and see if he can see any after effects of whatever transported him here. So you light up your wand, and you see around him, you see the weave. But it's it's wrong. It's different. Something it's it's all it's twisted and mangled and there's pieces of it that seem like broken. Uh, it, it's it's almost like a tear that's trying to put itself back together. How fascinating. And say you notice that Howard is kind of circling around you, looking at you very closely. Uh question. Would, would the talking rod have anything to say for those who can hear it? Ardent? About what? What, what do you... Yeah, Ardent. Just about Sid in general. Because um, I mean, if he's still following us. He's really weird. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's kind of rude, right? Just pop out of nowhere and, and then start just like smacking on other people's stuff. But he seems okay. okay. The only person who hears that, by the way, is Howard. Yeah, that's why I want to bring him up. 
It is strange, Ardent, but I, I, he did help us out. He didn't start smacking things for no reason. Good point. I'm sorry, who are you talking to, Howard? Uh, it's just Ardent. Ken. Who's Ardent? It's a magical rod. Scepter. Whatever. Doesn't he know about me? I thought I was famous. It speaks to certain people. Can I help you with something? You're circling me. Oh, um... I... I didn't hear that. Uh, this wand I have allows me to see magic. Can I take a closer look at... It's... Cut out for me. Same. I can't hear. I think it just kind of cut out for Matt entirely. Yeah, yeah. I think it's coming back. You dead, Matt? I'm alive. Ah! We didn't hear anything you said. Okay. Right now. We can hear you now. Okay. I basically said uh, the one allows me magic. I was looking over you, and what is there is very strange. That's something I've seen before. Huh. Strange how? Well, the magic around you is torn and broken. Almost as if it has been ripped out of what it's supposed to be. Well, I'm not supposed to be here, so that makes sense. Yes, but I've never heard of anything that would cause something like this. Hmm. It may have something to do with how you got this place. Huh. Sorry, I can't tell you more right now. It's okay. We'll figure it out. All right, the evening passes and the morning comes. You begin your journey, your final day's journey towards Sikhomber. The, uh, the day passes uneventfully, but near the end of the day, you see in the distance about um, a few hours journey from where you make camp. You see the lights of the city of Sikhomber. You can see the marsh laid before you. Uh, a marsh? Marsh, yep. A bog marsh. Um, okay. It's it's massive. It covers a, a large expanse of land. It's it's seems vast, almost a, as if it were a great lo- lake or a great ocean. You said it's a bog? <laughs> it's a marsh. Marsh right. bog, they're kind of the same thing. Uh, Hadar gets a little excited. And he's like, ah, oh, I remember when... This reminds me of the, the marshes that I that I grew up alongside back in my, my hometown. I'll let out a loud sigh. Uh, I hate the tropics. This is not tropical, so you should be happy. Okay, actually, I, I want to refine that. Uh, where are we exactly in terms of like climate? Um, you're still in the north. It is still cooler, but it has warmed considerably than uh, it was in the spine of the world. I'd say it's probably about 25, 30 degrees Celsius. I'll, say, I'll let out a loud sigh. Uh, I hate walking through water. Okay, as everybody lays out their bedrolls and crawls into bed, I think that's a good place to end tonight's session. Could I prepare three more arrows? You can try and prepare two more. Two more? Can, since I'm learning from experience how to do them, do I get that added bonus when I roll? Uh, no, you do not. What? Fine. You do not have proficiency in arrow making. Okay, well, I got, uh, 22. And then I got, uh... 
I didn't hear 19. that. 19. 19? Okay. 22 and 19. Both of, these, uh, both of these arrows, you are successfully able to coat the tips in poison that will be somewhat shelf-stable. Okay. Sweet. Okay, we're ending now? Yep. Sweet. Seems like a good place to end. Yes. Uh, I can show you what the city looks like, though, if you'd like to see it. Yes, please. Oh, that's not it. That's not it either. There we go. It's fancy. No, I did not draw this. I'm kind of claim credit for it. Okay, looks nice. Is that a port? Uh, yeah, they're, they're little wharfs. I mean, the the marshes have enough water that small skiffs can kind of ride around them, but, like, it is a self-contained area. There's not large okay. shipping, so, large ships or anything. So, so what would be the sea in this picture is actually marsh? Yes, that is correct. Ooh, that's cool. Good distinction. I like that. Yes, why, is there a lighthouse? why is there a lighthouse in the marsh? It's just a watchtower. Yeah, what I said is lighthouse. Yeah. That's not a lighthouse. All right. Thanks. Thank you, everybody, for playing. I hope you had fun tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yo, we all know you did. <laughs> oh, definitely with Nerf's uh, antics, yes. Yeah. Felt like they got a little tense towards the end there. Well, it seems to. It seems like our party likes to have inner conflict. Yeah. Uh, one thing I did want to say is, like, for those of you who are, you know, been with Nerf long enough, like I kind of went into him not really having him that fleshed out. So he's kind of evolving as I think of how we want him to be. It's fun, isn't it? Oh, yeah.